Hi, we're Kinder, and we're here chatting with Milky. Well, Savannah, you started from, I've started um, writing music from like when I was like 10, young kid, and playing piano when I was like eight and guitar. So I always grew up doing music. And then uh, Bryony went to uh, uni in Bathurst and started DJing. Yeah, I was kind of inspired by Savannah. I was always doing, I was I was a dancer, so I wasn't really doing the music side of things for a long time. Um, but then I was super inspired by Sav and, you know, she was just always sitting there by the piano, which I couldn't do at that time. Um, but I was super interested in DJing. And so, yeah, picked that up and I rang Sav and I was like, I think you'd love this DJing thing. I think you'd really get it around it like nope <laughs> I was like I don't want to DJ I just wanted to make my own music and then you're like no I think we should do this and then we can eventually do that and I was like oh, okay and then we started and then I like loved it as soon as we started playing shows and clubs and then from there we started writing together and then yeah started releasing our own music and now we're here yeah it's a bit ironic how it all happened but we got here <laughs> So we just started it off together in our lounge room, started producing the beat and coming up with the chants and we're really inspired inspired by the Ghanaian kind of chants and melodies. And then I just had this idea of a bus in my head and I just was like, I just came up with a line and then it was quite literal because I always do miss the bus and I'm always standing on the other side of the road and just watch it drive right past me like it always happens it's really bad and um my dad's also similar he always is late missing things missing the bus so it was literal but then there's also another meeting <laughs> with it as well <laughs> yeah it was it just started out being this fun kind of song about yeah our dad always late on african time we have a running joke in our family but we um as we started writing the song it became we we kind of just detached ourselves from any of our old forms of writing it was like we didn't want to just we had such a way which we used to write and we thought nah stuff that we want to do something different and so that line in the um chorus where it's like gotta find my way I ain't got no shame actually loops back to us literally their writing being like let's just go for it let's just do something completely different and so it kind of went from this kind of superficial meaning to something a lot deeper and was like actually this is a song about doing whatever the hell we want and missing the bus so so that was the roundabout process of the song We really love to get involved. Like we knew we wanted to go a lot darker for this one. We wanted to contrast with come along a little bit, you know, and show a little bit of a different side, I think. Um, but we're so lucky with the team, like the director, Rabal, he's amazing. And when he like showed us what he was inspired by and showed the vision, we were like 100% on board. We we're like, this is exactly how we would want it to be. When he showed us um, his yeah like the draft ideas we just went oh this is exactly how we were thinking so it worked out we're very lucky wow (laughs) i just have in my head like a a like a burnt out school bus but i guess that's not a (laughs) i didn't wanted that in the film clip as well (laughs) <laughs> like the image that we really wanted in the film that didn't quite make it so in my head I'm like we, that somehow has to come into like a merch idea or something I don't know just yeah <laughs> lots more singing and new dance moves and dancers will be bringing yeah we just want to have like just 
I don't know, our whole thing has always been like party. We just want to party and we just want to make it very lighthearted. So we just want to, yeah, create the energy that we've tried to create in the songs on stage and with the, the people that are there. Yeah, so important. Like it was so hard not being out of play shows because that was like our life. Like every weekend we'd have shows and then having that taken being taken away from us it was it was really hard because like and then when we did our first show in over a year um like a couple of months ago it was just crazy to actually have that connection with them and we realized how much we miss that and how important that is to actually be there and seeing them and seeing their expressions and Mm -hmm. connecting with them it really does make a difference compared to like doing the little streams live streams we were doing Yeah, I think especially for dance music, it's like, it's so strange to, you know, it was awesome that we had the platforms to do these live streams and whatnot, um, but it just isn't the same. Like, you're so affected by your audience. It's not actually, I think with dance music, it's not so much a performance, but it's like, it's a connection and it's a movement with everyone involved. It's not just about us. Yeah, and now we know that more than ever, I think. So, yeah, it's a... (laughs) <laughs> it's important. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> nah. Um, the braids. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I think uh, maybe the music, as in like having the darker, heavy dance stuff, but with the happy, lighter chants, yeah. it's a bit different. Yeah, I I think we've tried to purposely go for something a little bit unique and like and our, this current sound that we've got. Um, and yeah, trying to, we're drawing inspiration from like, like the club DJs we like, but also some pop artists that we love. So I don't think there's too many people that I know of that are kind of doing both elements. Um, Ghanaian influence as well. Yeah, drawing things from other regions around the world um so it's a bit of a collection of very different things (laughs) i think personally it's great like i couldn't do it without her she's like my rock and i think we're very lucky the connection we have because we just grew up us two and our mom so very close always and we did fight all the time i'm not saying we didn't as kids we did and teenagers but i think now working like at having a business together it's been really good I feel like we always creatively have the same ideas we're always like aligned with how we think with like our vision and everything we never really clash it's quite rare so blessed to have each other I think we balance each other a lot too we have our moments we do but usually positive (laughs) ah an AP (laughs) coming yeah and we've got a fair few shows lined up we've got a few that haven't been announced yet on the back end of the year that we're super excited about so yeah i guess after a whole year off we're just keen to get out there yeah so this ep is it's very light-hearted it's fun it's bassy as well there's a lot of dark tones as well as those fun tones yeah and it's also a lot about like family and our dad and community and coming together yeah it's just a, it's we're trying to make it as uplifting as possible i think after the year that you know everyone had it's kind of nice to just have some music that you know is just light-hearted and just you can just get loose to <laughs> Golden features. Golden features. <laughs>
<laughs> the uh, I look, I look. Um, Panic at the Disco, uh, favorite, favorite, can't sweat out. <laughs> <laughs> Matilda. Yeah, good one. Yeah. <laughs> but our music would not work. <laughs> Maybe like the Matrix or something. Yeah. We can see bus stuff in that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Halsey. Yeah, oh, the Horden. Oh. It's incredible. Or oh, Panic at the Disco. Oh, Panic. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hannah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so team Hannah. I like Taylor Swift a lot. I don't know if that's guilty. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> yeah. That's not guilty. No, that's not guilty. Of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'd probably be Whingy Spice. <laughs> and I'd be Bogan Spice. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go on tour with... Sophie Tucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they, they look super fun. I feel like Lizzo in terms of like being, being herself, yeah. herself, owning it. I, I look up to her. Yeah. Um, she's really, yeah, she's an inspiration, I would say. <laughs> Let the universe take the wheel. Yeah, just enjoy these moments. Not get too caught up in it. When I played my first house party at uni. <laughs> um, probably when I got up and sung and played piano at uh, assembly at school. 